This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Melissa Curtis with 3 News Now, and here's a look at what's happening now. The White House is celebrating after President Biden signed the Safer Communities Act into law, marking the first action from Congress against gun violence in nearly 30 years. And a Nebraska woman at the forefront of gun control across the state will be in attendance. Melody Vaccaro is with Nebraska's against, uh, Nebraskans Against Gun Violence. The organization based in Lincoln works with state lawmakers and community members pushing for gun control in the state. Vaccaro is one of many gun control advocates across the country to receive an invitation. And she says while she's excited to go to D.C., she adds there's more work to be done in the fight for gun control. The Nebraska Supreme Court upheld a murder conviction in the 2010 killing of an Omaha woman. Joshua Keto's conviction of second-degree murder for the death of Tyler Thomas has been reaffirmed. Keto filed an appeal last year arguing there was insufficient evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. His attorney said there was no forensic or blood evidence and Keto never confessed. In Friday's decision to uphold the conviction, the court said Keto was the last known person to have seen Thomas alive. They add a jury found him guilty and there is no merit to the appeal. Thomas was an Omaha native and Peru State College student. Keto is eligible for parole in 2051. On 3 News Now, meteorologist Joseph Meyer, the temperatures are going to be a little on the cooler side, still a little muggy though through the overnight hours. Those winds will start to increase as we head into Sunday morning. During the day on Sunday, going to be breezy at times, wind gusts from 20 to 25 miles an hour. A lot of sunshine, heat's going to be back as well, 92 degrees with a lot of humidity. It's going to feel more like 100 degrees outside in certain times of the day, especially the further west you head in the state of Nebraska. A spot afternoon storm is possible. I think it's a very low chance. Most, if not all of us, are going to stay dry. Just something to at least keep on a, keep in mind as we head into Sunday night. Monday morning, slightly better chance for a few storms. 87 degrees. Tuesday will be the coolest point that we're going to hit next week at 86 degrees. Then we start that slow warm up from Wednesday through next Saturday. Temperatures going back up into the middle 90s.